Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video um, because I've been getting so many phone calls and messages and um, texts about if we're going to have any more puppies available and I'm so humbly happy um, that so many people are interested. I'm just so sorry because it's really hard to get back to everybody. So I thought maybe a video just kind of explaining things in our process would help a lot um, just to kind of simplify it and make it easy for everybody and that way you're not wondering and I'm not getting back to you and that kind of thing. So um, we have found out that we'll have two puppies available out of the, the Muppet Babies. So two out of the ten. Um, I don't know till later if it's going to be two boys or a boy and a girl. I should find that out tonight so I definitely will update that. But um, in the meantime, um, what I would like to do, since there's two available, instead of responding individually to all of you guys, because some people sent me messages on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, or I don't even know you guys it's so much, um, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss somebody, sure as the world. Okay, so I don't want to miss anybody. So if you see this video, it's really important to follow us because that's how you get your information. Um, then you'll know what to do. So, what I would like everyone to do, if you're interested, is send me a text message, text message, with some of your information in it, okay? Um, and then what I'll do is I'll take the text and I'll call everybody on Saturday, okay? And that way I'll know some of your information so I don't have to re-go re over all that kind of thing and we can make it kind of simple and quick because I don't have a lot of time and um, just trying to simplify the process, I think will be easy for, for you guys and for us. So in your text, I just want a little bit of simple information, um, just basically your name, where you're from, um, like your living situation, who you live with, if you have any kids, what their ages are, um, what kind of situation, do you live in a home, apartment, do you have a yard, is it fenced, do you have a pool? Um, those kind of things. Um, how much time do you spend at home? Do you have a job away from home? Do you have a job at home? Um, you don't have to really tell me what your job is because, you know, that's fine. But, um, you know, just how much time you have to be away from the home and at home. Um, do you have a vet set up? It's okay if you don't, but do you have other pets? And if you do, what other pets do you have? What are their ages? Um, is this going to be your first dog or have you had dogs in the past? Um, do you have social media? Like we do have a Facebook family page that I love people to share too. So, you know, are you willing to share their lives with us? So those are really the main things to know about you guys. Um, oh, and how long have you been following us and were you referred by anyone to us that is in our Cooley Doodle family? So those are the main things. Um, some of this, it's, it becomes very difficult to make the decision. I'm not gonna lie. So sometimes I have to look at who followed us the longest or who was referred by somebody or things like that. So the decision does, does become difficult and I'm sorry for that because you guys are all amazing. Um, but I just would like to know those things so I can maybe simplify the decision easier if I need to. Um, the other thing is, I'll just go through our process really quick and to see if we're a good fit for you guys. Um, so we'll share the babies every day on social media. We'll share their pictures, we'll share their videos, we'll share all of their first steps, um, the first time they eat, the first time they use the pee pad, the first time they get a bath. All of those things I think are precious memories. We want you to be involved as much as possible their first eight weeks of life and we're super excited about this. Um, the other thing is we won't know which ones you'll get. So yes, you can pick a gender, but not which one. So we won't know which one till they're five weeks of age when we do our picks. And that goes in order by deposit. So we have number nine and number 10 pick available basically. Um, so I don't know if that's okay with you, but that's how it goes. Deposits are non-refundable. So if you don't get the puppy you want, you don't get your money, your deposit back, okay? So the deposits are $500. We 
you can't go wrong with any of them you guys they're all amazing but if you're specifically looking for the white with the party jean or the the abstract i can't promise that and and so i just don't know okay that's going to be something that we'll never be able to promise that we never do prom we never guarantee anything as far as looks of the dog we don't guarantee their coat we don't guarantee their color we just guarantee a healthy happy dog um we do guarantee your gender we do so we do refund deposits if you don't get the gender you want but with these last two picks i'll already know the gender before we even take your deposit um so deposits can be paid by um check in the mail or we have different um apps we can use or cash obviously if you live close but um we'll go over those when we talk to you guys um final payment so the the total payment for these are three thousand five hundred deposit twenty five hundred due at pickup time the twenty five hundred dollars will be cash only pickup time and the pick date so at five weeks we'll do the picks i'm trying to talk fast because i don't want this to be too long and boring so picks at five weeks will be may 22nd or 23rd that weekend i don't know exactly what times yet but we'll set those up with our families so that's when you get to come and meet all the babies well the babies that you can pick from and um, decide which one is your fit for your family and then pickup dates is eight weeks of age and we are very specific on our pickup dates so please make sure you remember this because we cannot make any exceptions. We've we've been down this road many times and we've come to the conclusion that we're gonna set up two dates. These will be the two pickup dates at eight weeks of age. If you cannot come these dates, you cannot get your puppy. Okay, that's it, hard line. So June 5th, June 7th, those will be the two pickup dates. One's a weekend, we like to give a weekend date and then one's the eight week age date when they turn eight weeks. Okay, so look on your calendars. Make sure that fits with your life. You don't have vacation. We can't keep them extra. That's all we can do. Um, if it can't work out, it can't work out. That's just, we'll wait for another litter or something. But, um, but we can't make exceptions to that. And we'll give you times too. So each family will have a time they come. But we don't have to do that yet. Um, We'll discuss that more when we do the picks, okay? So, trust me, I've heard everything under the sun, but I'm like, if this has to be your number one priority to come pick up your puppy, or we just have to like wait for another puppy for you or whatever, but number one priority should be to pick up your puppy. Um, okay, what else? Oh, contract. So. Once we get your deposit, we send we email you our contract that basically says you paid your deposit, how much you have remaining, remaining. It has Charlotte and Toby's information in it. It has a health guarantee in it. Um, it has, I'm trying to think, some specifics, like we don't offer breeding rights. We do require spayed and neutering, but it's up to you at what age you wanna do it, but you can't like wait till they're five, but like, you know, if you want to do it between, we recommend between 12 and 18 months to 24 months, but that's between you and your vet. It just has to be done at some point. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. I'm sleep deprived, so I can't think. But um, it does have, it's not too crazy or specific. It just has like situations that may come up. Uh, rehoming of the dog hopefully that's never the case but it can happen so if the dog doesn't fit with your life or your family or you need to rehome it you can't resell the dog the dog comes back to us in all situations um or you know it says something about we can talk about the situation but we can't um most times the nine out of ten times the dog would just have to come back to us for us to rehome it um there's no money back in that process. Um, what else? I'm trying to think what else. Anyways, we're very um, we're very specific about our dogs. We, we just want to make sure they have the best situation. We want to make sure we stay in contact with them and our families. We love them. We put our heart and soul into them. 
and we're always there for them their whole life. Um, so, you know, if there's a bad situation and you just can't handle the dog, it's okay. You know, we can take the dog back and, or any time in their life. We love them. They're our babies. Um, why are you not eating a little bit? She's been doing good, but she was just taking a break. Probably because I've been feeding her all day. Um, so, that's kind of our process. Um, we love to be very involved with our families. We love our family. We consider you part of our family once you become a Cooley Doodle family member. Um, so, you know, we stay very close to a lot of our family members. And, and we become really good friends, and I love it. Um, so... You don't have to be like super involved or whatever, but but we do love it. Um, and then we put the babies on our wall. I don't have their pictures up right now because of the Muppets decorations, but we put all of our babies up. We're so proud of them forever. And we're just, we're here for you guys forever. So that's how we do things. Um, if you have any questions that I haven't gone over, just comment below and I'll answer them. Um, in your text message, oh, my phone number. The phone number is 863-838-4272. And this is Michelle, 863-838-4272. Usually Justin handles this kind of stuff for me, but he's got a lot going on. So I'm gonna do it. Um, and then I'll put my phone number in the, the uh, description of the video as well. Hopefully you get to see this video if you're interested. Hope this gets out to you. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry. But I just have to kind of make this more simple because right now I really just have to like take care of Char. As you can see, she's very tired. The puppies are still trying to grow. So I want to wait till least Saturday to make sure everything goes pretty well. That will be through their first several days, their biggest humps. Um, so that's why I think it's best that we wait a little bit. And it gives me some time with them because this is a 24-hour job right now for me. And it's pretty exhausting to be honest, but anything for them. Let's just give you a break down here for a second because... You have eaten a lot, Kermy. Not to be mean, but we need to get little one on. She's doing good, little Scylla. Camilla Scylla. Isn't she so cute? So she's my main worry. She's doing good though. I mean, she really is. It's just because she was so small. Um, Gonzo, I'm making sure is okay because he's a little guy. She's doing really well. She had a difficult birth, but she's actually doing really well. He's kind of little, Ralph, red, Annie, my little Annie. You're gonna steal Annie's spot. Summer, Summer's like, okay. Summer, you come down here. Annie's like, I need a spot, see? So I constantly am like having to help them find their spots and make sure the little ones get fed. You know the big ones are. Okay, I can't do it one-handed. I'll have to help her in a minute. But that's basically what to do. Cause you look chill. They all look so beautiful. You can't go wrong. Like if you're looking for a specific one, you can't go wrong with any of them. They're all gorgeous. They're all unique, but they're all gorgeous. And they'll all have great personalities. And, um, you know, I know color is a big deal to some people, but... They'll all be so cute. So, you know, don't stress that part. We just don't work our system like that. Some people offer puppies by what they look like and they wait till they're older. But we just do it by, um, by the fact that they're mini golden doodles. So, because we think they're all precious. And I think it's fun to do pics, like to get pics in the litter and stuff. It's always fun. And you guys get to know them over the next five weeks. And so you know a little bit about them. And you'll probably have one like in your mind that you know you want and you get here and then you're like, wait a minute, I really like this one. Or, or the puppy actually picks you a different one. It's amazing. I love that part. It's my favorite. 
it's my favorite thing to get to meet you guys and see like you guys pick the puppies. You don't have to come though. We can do it over uh, FaceTime or whatever because some people live far away. Oh, there's some poopy doopy. See, like she's not really getting them clean. She's trying, but she's so tired. So we'll just clean that up for her. Cause she's too tired to do it. And that's okay. She just ate a little bit, so I'm super happy she ate again. She drank a lot. She's just worn out. Are you okay, baby girl? I love you. You'll be all right. We gotta get your energy back up, pumpkin taters. You're bleeding quite a bit too still. I know, it's so hard. But you're doing so good, Mama Char. Mommy's gonna help you through this hard time, okay? I'm right here with you all the time. I don't leave her side. Because I just know it's too hard right now. She needs to get some energy. I know, you're trying to roll over so they can get more. They're good. Are you done, buddy? Well, here's little Beaker. They aren't done eating. Look at that face. He's got like marking all down the side, but then this side, I think he's gonna get some more markings on his face over on this side too. They come in and then he's got that pretty spot and that pretty spot. He's so cute. You gonna look like your daddy, Toby Cuddles. But it's hard to tell their coats yet, like who's curly and who's not, but I can kind of tell. So he's got some curl. And Gonzo, see he's like flat on top. So he might be more wavy. Um, Kermy is, Sorry, there's my poop. Yuck. Okay. Kermy is gonna be wavy. He's not that curly. See, you look at the top of their heads. If they're flat like that, they'll be more wavy. If they have curl, like Scooter has curl. See his little waves? So he'll be more curly. Um, Summer has a little bit more waves, so I think she'll be curly. Scylla's gonna be wavy. Annie's gonna be wavy. I think she's gonna be wavy. He's wavy. Roth. The curliest ones out of this group are Summer, um, Scooter, Maybe Beaker, but it's hard to tell. I think Beaker is a little bit more curly. And maybe Gonzo, but it's hard to tell. Because his hair is not all the way in on top. And I don't see a lot of wave up there. Maybe a little. But he's got some wave in his coat here. But it's really the top of their heads that really define them. Oh, somebody pooped on Fozzie's head. Okay guys, well, I'll make this video short anyways. That's our process, hopefully you see it. Questions, just comment below, and um, we'll talk to you Saturday. Have a great day.